everybody to Matchstick Melee Monday nights. We got Street Fighter here like we do every week for you. Uh, we got a lot of new faces out there. We got a 19-person bracket this evening, so we're going to get going here real, real fast. Uh, it sounds like I'm the only one in the commentator booth this evening as well, so uh, pardon me if I get a little quiet at points. I got tournament stuff to do first and talking parts to do second. So uh, let's take a look at our competitors. First up, we're going to have a new face in here. His name is Solidus. He's going to be up against one of the guys who's been joining us a lot uh, lately, uh, NYC Max. So let me get their names in, and we'll summon them and get the party started, shall we? No, oh, I said solid ducks. <laughs> All right, Jim, you make it home, you can you can hop in on the mic. All right, where's my stuff? There we go. First up, NYC Max. That one's easy. And then... Hi. Guy's trying to jump ahead in the bracket. Street Fighter. You get caught up in love. So yeah, I uh, hope everyone's having a good time out there. As per usual, we have our match arena going this evening. Uh, we already dumped a couple couple buckaroos, a couple dinero, a couple third thing that equals money uh, in there. Uh, if you guys hit the exclamation mark Macherino command, uh, you guys can contribute as well through sponsor quest, direct donation, merch purchase, and, and or service purchase. Mmm, how about that? Let's see. So yeah, we'll have Solidus says they're on their way. Oh. Up oh, and there we go. All right, so we got an Ultra Diamond Gill. Oh my goodness, another Gill run. Oh, and he's Team Parry Gods, of course. All right, back of the queue. forward to this so ultra platinum versus ultra diamond we got a rose rose versus gill is definitely a setup you don't see too often or matchup sorry <laughs> Can we get the voice actor who did uh, Magneto in Marvel 3 to just... Like, every time we get a donation, can I just get the, the voice clip? Macharino! Yeah, it's Rose Gill. Look at that. Woohoo! Alrighty. 
Oh, all right. Max gets tagged during uh, what appears, I think, Command Roundhouse. I don't know Rose at all. Nice. All right, we got Meteor. All right, Solidus is in the uh, the Sky Six Four Seven camp of of Gil Tech. Nice cross up. Fire Lariat, Ice Ball to follow up. Comes in low. Oh, nice crush counter, and we go right into so again move. Yeah, we hit, the, we hit the essentially the combo limit there. Sure, Sky. Sure you are. It's like watching your personas uh, duke it out in your brain. Okay, trying to come in with a neutral. Solid. Ooh. Almost had the bait on Max. Got him on the jump, and now we got a little bit of pressure here in the corner. Max burning down. Oh, with the double hit and gets over the burning as well. Forward throw. What next? Ooh, and punishes Solidus on that grab attempt. Okay. Max clutching it out. All right, Solidus going for some solid damage here at the round start. Ooh. Max getting lucky, not getting punished for that uh, ooh, whiffed, uh, whiffed air. Cracking those eggs. Ooh, and there goes the stun. Solidus is going to have fun from here. Solidus gets first blood. Oh. Had all day for that. Wow. Solidus just powering right through that. Taking it to the corner. Nice. Got the retribution counter off. Crack, crack, crack. Max on point dodging these fireballs. Burning a little bit of time on this again move with all these forward throws, but... Oof. It is damage that's adding up. Oh! Takes him out of something. Solidus actually ends up burning some meter because of that. All right. V-trigger activation and tags Max with the neutral. Deal with. All right. Solidus goes up a game versus Max. Let's see what happens. All right, game two. Solidus took a little bit of a back step at the beginning there. Oh. No serious damage just yet. Oh. So Max starting to break out the soul satellites. We didn't see this last time. Nice, using EX to get the job done. Solidus, however, evading the fireball. Solid jump in tech. Oh, no follow-up. He's trying to use the meteor as a distraction. Getting Max all discombobulated. Oh, good crush counter. Now we're trying to do a little bit of a poke battle. Okay, Max familiar with that particular block string. Oh, no anti-air for that jump in. Ion manages to tag with those crouch MPs. Solidus with the jump in straight to the throw. Not a bad opening. Nothing Max can't come back from, however. Once again, poke battle. No one giving each other too much room. Ooh, nice. Good hit and a solid anti-air follow-up. Right. Max taking a retribution combo or two. Ah, Solidus once again. Ooh, empty jump low. Okay, into the stun. Let's see what you got, Solidus. 
Don't play with your food now. Meteor again. Ooh, just a little shy. And look at that punish. Solidus coming in from downtown. Gets the 2-0. Definitely hard fought, though. Hey, Vanglorious, thank you for the follow. And that is match one, everybody. Thank you. Max, hopefully we'll see you a little bit later on. Solidus, congrats on your first win. You are up against uh, underscore next. We'll get that uh, set aside in just a second here. Next up, we have Art Thane A versus Cod de la Cod. Solidus, you're cool to bounce, buddy. Let's cod. All right, I will politely escort you away. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Sorry, folks, doing bracket stuff real quick. Cod. Let's get him in here. Oops. Nope. Hit the wrong button. Ave, 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 ave. You better be in here. There you go. Arcade mode. Interesting. All right. And then we're looking for Cod. All right. Behold my superior typing skills! Alright, so everybody knows Abe is a claw main. Interested to see who Cod plays. Nash, you know what? I think you're right. I think I caught wind of that earlier. Cod, cod, cod. Is it Green Ranger? I think Green Ranger's a uh, a Nash as well. Oh, you're right, it is Kaiba. Ave, don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Just just run your race, man. You got to platinum all on your own. Just do all that, do, you know, just do that good basic stuff. Just pretend it's Kihaku. Nice. I was gonna say, man, you got you got a pretty good claw on your on your side. I, I would not. Uh... I would not worry yourself too much. Run your own race, good sir. Make wise decisions, and you will you shall win the day. And in other news, regular Lee has won uh, the third match in, re in winner's round one against Subliminal. So that means that regular Lee will be in round two versus Hardman, which we will probably incorporate into the matches that we watch. 
because regular Lee is also a new face. And you know how we like uh, giving new faces a time to shine around here. Hey, Cod, thank you for the follow. Oops. Round one. There we go. Fight. All right, we've we're both decided on very drab and gray outfits today. Ah, plat versus ultra plat. Okay, so these two should be fairly close if uh, online rankings can be believed. Oh, all right, we got V skill. V skill two on this Nash. Moon Salt Slayer. Ave definitely feeling the pressure there. You might need to start getting brave and doing some interrupts. Nice throw, though. He's keeping a very, very distant uh, position from Nash. Not necessarily sure that's the best idea. Nash can play at uh, borderline full screen. Ooh, nice. Good V-trigger. Ave took a little bit of damage. Nothing too big, but he has lost his claw. Shadow Ace, you're not new. All right. Oh, we're doing we're doing thinky thinky plays. Cod still with the life deficit. He's being very cautious about his approach. Nice into the neutral, and Abe's gonna pull away with round one. <laughs> nice to meet you. You guys are nuts. I love you. All right. Starting things off, Sonic Boom. Abe with a nice calm walk under. Gets a little bit of a stab in there. Ah, not getting adventurous enough to go for the interrupt between the two hits of the uh, EX Moonsault. Ah, oh, there's the stun. Nice. Oh! Not sure if that was for positioning or not. And the goose, yeah, what's good for the goose is good for the gander as Cod uh, delivers a German suplex back to Abe. Nice. All right, we got the sweep. Ooh, and Abe did a fantastic job of catching Cod right at the end of that V-shift. And without a claw, that's going to hurt a little less. Abe should have ditched the... Abe should have ditched the uh, the mask. Well, he's got no chance, no option now. One quick jab, though. We'll do Cod in. There we go. Vega wins. All right, that is Ave taking game one against Cod Della Cod. Not too bad. I'd say we have a nice even matchup going so far. Round one. Fight. All right, Ave trying to counter poke right there at the start. go. Moon salting in. Oh, back throw. Up and over. Definitely no cross up. Cod punishing a little bit for the whiff. Nice. Oh, oh, really surprised Cod not able to take advantage there. Ave stays on guard through the side swap uh, V trigger. Ave gets caught with his hand exposed, loses the claw and the mask. 
Now this does allow, uh, ooh, Vega to do a little extra damage. What a trade. Ooh. And Abe trying to go for the meaty. Did not work out for him this time. There's the sweep. What do we got? Oh, nice. Good decision on Cod de la Cod's part. V shifting away. Managed to evade the wake up uh, EX command grab. All right, Ave really crowding the plate here. Going, trying to go for that stun. Ooh, Moonsault just knocking Ave right out of the ground. Undaunted though, Quick rises back into the action. Oh, Cod getting counter hit and another throw. All right, Ave on match point. Cod still has a chance to take it to game three. All right, Sky High Claw off the opposite wall. No big damage there. We got the crush counter into the slide. Wins the neutral, Ave. Throw break. Good one by Cod. Nice. Not too much damage, but it was definitely enough to put uh, Ave on guard. Now we're back to playing Poke War. Oh. Ave whiffs over the crouching Cod. Manages to get a throw off, though. Cod stuck in the corner. Ave not exactly pressing his advantage here, though. Letting the action go back to mid-screen. Both went for a throw. Nobody came up the winner there. Moon Salt. Ooh, I'm not sure that's going to go in. Oh, that's probably it. And that is going to do it. Ave with the clean punish off that blocked super. And 2-0 for Ave over Cod. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, time for round two. Thank you, guys. So, I think I've already called one of these. Um, I would really like to see Hardman versus Regular Lee, just because we've not seen Regular Lee fight yet. Uh, game two, though... I kind of want to see DB Gen versus Emperor Eevee. That sounds like a good one to me. I don't know about you guys. But we're going to make it happen. I'll let the Discord know and we'll be right back at you. In the meantime, don't forget, folks, we do have the Match Arena going tonight. Just exclamation mark Match Arena in the Twitch chat. Same for exclamation mark bracket. We'll uh, let you know what's happening. That's... That's going, that's going, that's about to get going, that's going, that's going, that's going, that one's waiting, and that one. All right, nifty. Let's get some people in here. DP Gen. Eevee, 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 Eevee. There we go. One of these days, I'm going to learn how to spell Emperor. <laughs> Boop. That's DB Gen playing that Seth and or Ken. And Evie with the Mika.
All right, we got Eve. I think DB Gen stuck in a uh, in a mat in an actual match. There are some good sets out there too. I was torn. I mean, what else? There's yeah. I, th I think Gen versus Eevee was the way to go, but there was also Shadow Ace versus Green Ranger, which was probably going to be fun. Uh, Hardman, you're up in the next one? Although I'm not sure we ever heard from Talix, so we might have to start doing some DQing. Same for Master Zequius. Hey, there's Jen. All right. Man, if you want to just hang out for one second, we'll get this match underway, knock yours out, and go. And you can go back to what I'm sure is your other tournament today. <laughs> Let's go, Mika Ken. Okay, okay. So we're yeah. So we aren't doing uh, not doing Seth yet. Oh, you're out of the other one, out of online local, brother. You ought to you ought to chill with me on the microphone. <laughs> All right, let's go. Eevee versus DB Gen. Ooh, all right. Gen cares not for these impassioned speeches. Words are second to action. Nice, got the good standing roundhouse in. Irish whip. Ooh, there's the invisible wall we all know and love. Crackalacka. Oh, gets out and over the, the EXDP on Wake Up. Man. Eevee's off to a good start. Just unable to tank all the hits out of that uh, out of that DP while doing the microphone. Ooh, Shinryuken is an excellent just psychological punish to all that. And catches with the axe kick. Very nice comeback from DB Gen. So Jen politely escorting Eevee across the board there. Trying to push towards the corner. Oh, Eevee not able to abandon the microphone quickly enough to avoid getting DP'd. That could be big, though. Yo! Comboing right into critical art. Boom! Not even risking it for the biscuit. It's like, yo, that was safe. That was a gimme. <laughs> that was hella great. Look, Ken didn't, Ken didn't get to be a married man by taking no for an answer. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Ah, uh, Evie keeps trying to bait bait DB Jen into stuff, but it's just not working. You can't abandon the microphone quickly enough. Just 
too many minimum active frames. <laughs> nice. All right, EX Giant swing to the corner, Nashiko. <laughs> oh, once again. Not sure what Edie is trying to accomplish with this microphone tech. It's I don't think it's working out for him too well. Wow, okay, nice counter with the uh with the DP. Okay. Coming out with the nooch. Nice couple hits. Wow. The arc on Ken's DP is unreal sometimes. Oh. Nice poke, and once again, cancels DP into critical art. Foot to the face. I'm gonna cool this down by sticking it in some Subway lettuce. <laughs> Ken wins. And that is DB Gen 13 using his alt character to go 2 0 versus Emperor Evie. It's go time. Gen Gang? Play like Ken Gang. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, Ken, all the Kens. We had all the gills last time, more Kens. All right, well, Evie will catch you later, hopefully. Good luck. Um, this means that it is Dressboni versus NYC Max and Losers, and Green Ranger versus Cod and Losers. So, uh, gentlemen, if you can hear the sound of my voice, go ahead and find each other. And uh, have a good time. Can only turny. Yeah, can only turny. Maybe sometime soon. Who knows? Maybe maybe the weekend after Memorial Day or the week after Memorial Day. Uh, so yeah, let me report that real quick. Jen, Jen, Jen. <laughs> All right. Up next. Oh, and uh, Jen, just gotta bump you off, buddy. Sorry. Oh, it's not Shadow Ace, but it's a it's a fix. Okay. <laughs> uh, hard Man and Regular Lee. Let's get him in here. Where are you, Hard Man? There we go. And then... Wait, Jem, you won't show up for it? Oh, we're definitely doing an all can tournament then. <laughs> this just became the greatest idea a man has ever had. <laughs> oh, it's another Perry Gods friend. Okay. So many people out of Perry Gods, and yet we don't have Master Zequius. All right, back at the queue. I will. I will have fun commentating it. I'll have so much fun. And then you'll be all like, damn, I didn't think uh, you could have that much fun commentating a Ken match. And I'll be like, yeah, it turns out you were wrong about him all along. Kenneth J. Masters. All right. Hard man, hard man, hard man. So I'm guessing we're seeing Colin. And I did not catch who regular Lee was uh, bringing to the table. I did, however, notice that both of our uh, competitors like to have their names in all of her caps. Oh, we got a Cody and a Rose? Where's this coming from? 
Desk work just isn't my thing, you know? Round one. Fight! I honestly, if you had told me that hard, like before the night got started, if you had told me that hard man had a Cody, I would have called you a damn liar. Uh oh. Oh, hold it together, network. Oh, this isn't looking great. Sorry, folks. I gotta, I gotta DQ some folks while I'm uh, chilling out here. We'll address this network situation in just a moment. Oh God! <laughs> Let them fight. I mean, look, if they're gonna keep fighting. <laughs> I mean, it does look this. It does look like I'm the hard man's got time to send emotes between fights. <laughs> but I've got a DQ, Talix. So Regicide wins there, and then Subliminal wins over Talix and losers. So Subliminal moves on, and we're making good prod. Uh, prod. Oh my god, this is painful to watch. More painful to play. <laughs> yeah, we might have to talk to uh, to Lee about his connection. If something funky's going on. Oh my goodness. We got a forward throw. This match reminds me of that old Penny Arcade comic where Gabe's uh, in the kitchen and Tycho's like, yo, I thought you were playing uh, King of Fighters online. Nah. Uh, Gabe's like, yep. Oh, he's making a sandwich. He's like, yep, I just threw a fireball. I'm going to go back in in about five minutes and see if it landed. I hope he's corded. I mean, corded doesn't solve every problem. Regular, yeah. Lee could have somebody on the uh, somebody on his Rose on his wins. internet, like screwing it up. Somebody on the bit torrents. Yeah, hard man. Take it back to uh, take it back to to, to the room. Let's take this. Uh, let's let's look this up. Alright, so we made it to three. Um. <laughs> oh, Shadow Ace. You big kidder. kidder.
Oh no. People get off my phone. But Okay, I'm out of the I'm out of the loop. Is this a is this a is this a meme? Okay, uh Dresboni lost. Oh and two round one losers. Okay. Okay, got it. <laughs> oh, dude, I've been staying so far away from all that nonsense. Like, I don't need the minutia. I just need to know that, like... She's out of his life, and for what it's worth, he's out of hers. I just... Uh, ah. I, I sincerely do not have time for that. Yeah, it is messy. It's it's definitely Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really? The wait, Butterfingers the the Bart Simpson candy bar is taking sides in this. It's true, bro. Like, seriously, I'm the last to know everything. It's it's not out of maturity. It's just that if I if I dip my toes in, I'm going to I like I won't stop until I've unraveled everything. Like I'm going to bust in that courtroom just like waving like a like a like a, a like a blueprint and a timeline and and like something that looks like graphic design is my passion like over my head and being like I've got the solution like that's and I can't I don't have time for that I legitimately don't <laughs> That jitter's kind of What's what's good jitter on a on an internet connection? Hmm. Let's consult Reddit. LBC cuts off at six. Yeah, but really? That okay? All right, and Dollar will run the set. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, back in the queue for me. All right. It's a, it's it's been ruled acceptable by the by the opponent. So. This is all Vince McMahon's fault. It, it's pretty much always like whatever, whatever pro it's like six shades of, uh, or six degrees of separation from, uh, from Kevin Bacon. Right. 
Six degrees of blame from Vince McMahon. They switch sides. Uh, one second. Well, this is already looking a lot better than last time. And Hardman is swapped to the main. That's the first serious damage he's taken all around. Nice anti-air by regular Lee. Oh. Alright, Hardman went for a throw. Got rebuffed. Puts himself in the corner. Nice. Hailstone coming in handy. Gets the combo started. There's the slide. And once again. Ooh. Good thing regular stayed on uh, stayed on the defense. <laughs> okay, that was weird. But yeah, hard man takes the round. Oh, there you go. Hardman having a difficult time getting uh, getting the lead just to stay still for him, which I suppose is the idea. Ooh, big whiff on the counter. Nice anti-air by Lee. Taking Hardman off his feet again. Oh, all right. Empty jump, but absolutely nothing happening. There's the shimmy. Ah, empty jump low. All right. I would say both of them are probably in the one touch, like, to confirm area. Oh, 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 what a punish. Yo. <laughs> All right, hard man grabs two rounds, ties it up one to one. I'm a star. Round one. Fight. Oops. Switch back, my bad. All right, Hardman takes a forward throw. Lee's got a little bit of damage on him. Back into the corner. Oh, tries to get that shimmy again. There's the hailstone. The hail mary, if you will. Wow, nice. Gets the DP function out of that. All right, Lee checking the walk in. There's the counter. And one more. All right. Hard man match point. There we go. Soul Spiral getting a little bit of coverage. More throws. I demand more throwing. Thank you. Ooh, I like that one. That was like two two-hit combos, but they were so close together you would have just uh, been forgiven for thinking it was four. Pfft. 
hard man, heeding my call for more throws. Where's the uh, full screen dash into low tap throw, hard man? Just a couple taps away from being out here. Uh oh. Nice last minute exchange, though. Oh, breaks the throw. This could go either way. Oh, we're going to go over the chip out. I see. I see. All right. Hard man snags it over regularly. Two to one. Not bad, not bad. So we had a little bit of a little bit of internet trouble there at the start, but it all worked out in the end. All right, moving on to round three of winners now. Let's see, who haven't we gotten to take a look at tonight? Underscore and Regicide seems like a good one. And... Ooh. All right. So we have technically seen everybody else in bracket. At least once. But if I had to... If I had to go... If I have to go back and overlap, I really want to see DB Gen versus uh, Shadow Ace. So, underscore is the one we have to do because we haven't seen either of those folks. And then, yeah, DB Gen versus Shadow Ace is, is part two. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, type it out in the Discord and we'll get things ready. <laughs> Hard man, get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> no, mother! <laughs> I will shadow ace you. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jad? Um, I saw Chippendale too. I, honestly, I wasn't too, I wasn't too blown away by it. I can see where it would be like cute and enjoyable, but I just, I don't know. Kind of sat there like, oh, okay. All right. Ah, funny reference. Which is weird because that's usually like my bag. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. It was a movie I would have made. You know what? That sounds... That sounds appropriate, actually. I'm mad it wasn't full of hot guys. What are you talking about? <laughs> there were hot dudes everywhere in that movie. <laughs> there was a Doug reference? I didn't catch the Doug reference. That one I would have gotten hype about. And now I'm going to have the theme song stuck in my head for the rest of the day. Where are you? There it is. Wait, no. Did I do regicide or underscore? I did regicide. Okay. Underscore. You were down here. 
on your PlayStation. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we got uh, J.K. Richside versus underscore eighty-seven. This one ought to be pretty good. <laughs> more allowance. I need more allowance. <laughs> Come on, baby needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Forget your baby. I need those shoes. I remember the beats. I remember uh, Judy. Judy Funny was all about the beats. Was Judy Funny my first cartoon crush? Maybe. <laughs> well, What's wrong with Judy? Y'all leave Judy alone. <laughs> All right, so we got Ed and then Super Ed, basically. <laughs> this looks like a scene from out of uh, <laughs> out of that Ricky Bobby movie. Not at her, hard man, with her. Snapping my fingers with her. In celebration of her her poetic skill. <laughs> I did say that. That was a that was a commentary on Ken, not me. <laughs> All right, forward throw. I like Red Side trying to tap, uh, trying trying to just just love tap Luke on the way out. Did Doug find the nematode? I don't remember. Damn. <laughs> this fight just is any just any time after 6 p.m. at the local Walmart is, is really what this is. Forward throw. All right. Oh, that was a weird interrupt. Jeez. Yo, we just got we just got uppercuts all over the place. Pseudo shotos. Pocket sand. Oh, nice counter hit. <laughs> like Ed or Luke can afford Walmart. <laughs> I mean, where else can they go? <laughs> they don't even know what Aldi is, let alone be able to shop at one. <laughs> okay, if you're not going to Walmart, you uh, y'all are definitely not going to Target. <laughs> Round one. Fight. They check these two at the door. Oh, nice jump in. I go to Tajay. Oh, 
Have you been to Target? In the back they have a section with televisions called Electronique. <laughs> wow. A lot of trades going on here. Holy cow. Oh, Psycho Flicker. Okay, V-Trigger. Red is going to use this opportunity to catch up. Nice cross up. Popped him again. Stun. Oh, he's going to go right into the critical art. And of course, Ed gets full payout for his critical art no matter where he starts in it. Yeah, the electronique section at your local Target. All right, Redicide seems to have found his uh, his fighting strength. All right, got them Popeye arms on. Hey, damn. Sandblast doesn't really get that much of a power-up from that, does it? Ooh, punished right at the end of the V-Shift. Regicide's got, like, one more chance to get in this. Okay. Ah! All right. Underscore goes to set point. Final round. That's what I said at the start, Jad. Oh, DB, yeah, Jen, I was just saying that uh, it doesn't look like uh, there's a huge power upgrade to, to Sandblaster from Luke uh, doing that B-Skill. Oh. I like Ed's V-Reversal. Man swaps sides and runs a metric mile away. There we go, the double pump. Luke wins. All right, and that's two zero for underscore as he sends Regicide to the lower bracket. Oh, it boosts his charge knuckles. That's misleading. All right, got some results rolling in. Let me just address these real quick. Uh, Ave lost to Dark Zero 2 0. Looks like that's. Yep, here we go. I hope it was fun for you guys, though. That was a claw mirror. I saved you guys from uh, having to watch it. like uh, Max and regular Lee are about to start going at it. A versus Solidus is next in losers. Um, I think that catches us up. Uh, we're going to move on to DB Gen versus Shadow Ace. It was a beautiful set where you got cooked. <laughs> cool. I got some weird names up in my favorites. All right. Shadow Ace. And DBJ. There we go. Oh, cool. <gasps> oh, it's so tempting. Oh, the lulls. The lulls are building. Oh, I must resist for the flow of the tournament. <laughs> Please don't use Seth. Use Seth. The most Seth. Ooh. 
Let's do this. All right. DB Gen versus this other guy who's, I don't know, he's new or something. <laughs> Bro, do it. Play Seth. It's just more Blood Fighter 5. Round one. Fight. So many variations upon Blonde Punchman. Can that be a Street Fighter character? A Street Fighter 6 character? Hello, my name is Blonde Punchman. <laughs> I'm here with my six brothers <laughs> and twelve sisters. Alright, on to the actual commentary. Shadow is just having a little trouble pegging, uh, pegging DP Gen down. Ooh, nice. Jen ready for that, had the EXDP ready to ready to rock. Forward throw there. Shadow Ace, not a lot. Ooh. Not a lot of life left. Slowly catching up though. Can't get getting counter hit like that. Well, the only saving grace here is that uh Shadow Ace cannot be get cannot get chipped out until Critical Art comes into play. This is some odd behavior out of both of them. Yo, Shadow Ace with the V reversal. It wasn't enough. I feel like there was a dropped input in there. And, and DB Gen doesn't even have to engage. He literally doesn't. Man, it is, it is, this feels like a, like a fight that's being fought for the lulls, you know? Ah, uh, Shadow Ace taking some of these fireballs. Yeah, there's not much uh, DB Gen can do about it. Nice. All right, so we got we got a couple love taps in there. Shadow is still way behind on life though. Oh, damn! Guess what hit first? All right, this is not going to be enough to kill, but it should even out the life totals. Yeah, that's that's about right. Oh, we can't trade anymore. I mean, we can. It'll just be double KO. Ooh, that was a good V shift, and he caught him with the with the, the crouch light. Ooh, Shadow Ace, You're taking it to the limit. Oh, not bad. Shutting down Jen's fireball there. Both on one stick of meter. Good escape. Oh! Huh. Interesting. Just opting for the crouch MP. Alright, Shadow Ace now has... Uh, yeah, Shadow Ace now has Jen in the corner. Back throw. Alright. Basically, put him on the on the Ferris wheel there. Ooh, that was not a great response to the Psycho Ball. Yeah, Ken just does not get enough loft to uh, get over that thing. 
But uh, Shadow Ace. Taking the first game. Round one. Fight. All right, so no character swap for Jen. Ooh, nice. Good counter hit. A Psycho Flicker. Everyone loves it. I haven't seen any angry threads about Psycho Flicker on, on FGC Twitter at all lately. Alright, going for back throw. Projectile Wars. Ooh, almost ensued. Nice. Shinryuken getting through all that. Tatsu into the hard DP. Nice. Shadow is just following it through. Oh, had a little had a little tap there. Crouch okay. Ooh, things so close once again. Any big move could probably take either one of them out. DP Jen's got the minor life lead. Shadow Ace slowly being pressured into the corner. He can't retreat for too much longer. And that yellow life is gone. Nice EX fireball there. He just needs this love tap. Oh, but DB Jen is gonna get there first. Time fireball. Oh, stand fierce. Okay. Got a forward throw from the can. Axe kick does not link to the Tatsu. Quick retaliation from Shadow Ace. Oh, what a trade. Nobody looked cool. Up and over, nice. Evades the cross up entirely. Responds with Shinryu get into the critical art. This could be huge. Yeah, I kind of figured he might still have a little bit left. And the throw with punish. DB Gen ties it up one to one. Don't like the VT one. Understandable. One. Nobody likes hitting their boiling point. Shadow Ace on a bit of a retreat here as uh, DB Gen kind of effortlessly pushes him to the corner. Of course, as soon as I say that, Shadow Ace launches a counter attack. Now changes the side to towards which he is retreating. Oh, nice. Gen did not wait out the end of that particular V trigger. Damn. All right, set point for Shadow Ace. I like the slow, uh, I like the slow Hadouken tact here. All right, EX Tatsu to the corner. What's the wake up plan? Oh, nice. Yo. All right, that was pretty big. Oh, never mind. Ken damage coming through. Oh, that was an actually really great time to use V-Trigger. 
Jen just saved himself like a huge headache and takes the round, putting this set on final mat uh, final match point. Final round. We're getting a lot of back and forth here. Ooh, DB Jen's going to be the first one to punish a big whiff. Got the forward throw. Oh! All right, Shadow Ace in typical Shadow Ace style. Burns his critical arc real early in the, in the round. For his efforts, though, he's gotten uh, Jen down to half life, roughly. Ooh, that could be big, too. Definitely building some good meter. Jen's not going to be able to probably survive this. Nope, he is not. That is going to be Shadow Ace taking final round over DB Jen. Two to one, your final result. Not bad, you Rankin Bass Christmas special looking mother... <laughs> All right, that means it is DB Gen versus NYC Max on loser's side. And we will start running our winner's semifinals uh, out of top eight as we work our way down to loser's top eight. It smells like someone's making soup outside. All right, whatever. It's honestly the least important thing in my life right now. Some weirdo barbecuing soup at 10.30 in the evening. All right. Up first, we're going to have Underscore versus Shadow. Well, no, see. Shadow Ace just played. Let's give him a break. Let's do uh, let's do Dark Zero versus Hardman first. And then we'll get to Underscore versus Shadow Ace. I know, I didn't kick you. I was feeling benevolent. You know, you, you can make it up to me by like uh, tossing some cash into the into the match arena. <laughs> Who's on stream right now? It's uh, you and Dark Zero. Hard man. So I gotta go get Dark Zero. But you should be able to come back in. No, it's a uh, PC, PC, Dark Zero PC. There we go. Oh, you are asking for it. <laughs> I'm going to get you. I'm probably not, actually. I'm... <laughs> hey, we got Dark Zero. Can't let Ken lose DB. Yeah. Hard man. Where are you? Oh, there you go. Yeah, mid top eight. It's 1030. I'd say we're doing pretty good on time. Two folks dropping out does tend to uh, move things along. Will hard man stick with Cody? <laughs> he is actually. Round one. Fight. 
All right, let's go. All right, not bad. You know, Cody's actually got a lot of safe buttons, either due to uh, due to frames or uh, due to the like the pushback that he does. Of course, Claw's got that extra range, so. Oh, oh, we brought pipe. That's right. We had pipe earlier, too. Just didn't get to see much of it. Ooh, nice. All right, so Dark Zero takes round one pretty handily. Round two. Oh, all right. I'm really surprised Dark Zero did not punish that uh, that V skill. Respectable damage. Some B and B Cody stuff. Dark Zero opting to take the projectile there, not uh, not counter it in any way, shape, or form. Has his back to the wall now. Good slide. Got some work to do to catch Hardman at this point, though. Ooh, EX Zonk Knuckle right at the end of the V-Shift. Here comes the pipe. Dick. <laughs> All right, something happened to that rock. I think Cody might have blasted it out to the stratosphere. And Crouch Jab will do it. Hard man on the board, round a piece. All right, EX. Absolutely plus, good on Dark Zero for not uh, for not trying to do anything against it. There it is again. Oh, that time he forgot, or he just wasn't blocking well. Nice. So there's actually a uh, target combo that Cody can do jumping in like that. Oh, and there goes the claw. <laughs> Hard man cancels the rock throw. And there it goes. Takes the game with this uh, surprisingly strong Cody. I'd be interested to hear what uh, what made oh, Hardman pick up Cody. Fight. Got the slide. So much caution. There's damage. Oh, hang on. Back to the corner. Oh my goodness. Their life bars are going to be almost entirely gray by the time anything actually happens. hard to call these piecemeal matches like pokes are great and all and they should definitely be something that you work on to master in your fundamentals training but Oof. yo yo I like this A final destruction to finish it off hard man puts himself on match point Dark Zero doing a pretty good job counter poking here. Ooh, 
This might be the whole round. <laughs> Yo, gets the jump in, but not anything after that. Weird. Ah, eats the jump in. Hardman with the rock setup. Gets the stun. Alright, EX Zonk. Oh, forward throw with the pipe. Yo! Alright, and Dark Zero on his last pixel of health. We got a Zuna drop. We got Critical Art. Almost never succeeds raw. And yeah, hard man. Tapping Dark Zero into losers. 2-0 victory there. Yo, maybe this Cody's maybe this Cody place is going the Cody is going places. Hello, Mouth. I can use words tonight. Hmm. Yeah, that uh, that severe beating with the pipe was very uh, Joker esque from Injustice. All right, up next we've got Underscore and Shadow Ace. <laughs> yeah. See, here's the thing though: getting Jason totted is not a like we we know now that it's not the end of your of your career right like we know that you can bounce back and you can become the red hood and and develop some kind of weird like some kind of weird lame venom basically what i'm saying is you know if you get you get jason totted you can still you know join the bat family later on there's no rule that says you can't, apparently. <laughs> All right, and while we're on this minor break, everyone just want to want to remind you once again that we do have a match arena going this evening. Uh, we're at ten dollars and ninety cents currently. Anything you got? Uh, like to donate or do sponsor quests for is in there. We've got uh, patrons, patron shout outs on our next compilation video. Um, we have, of course, got merch in there. Not our own personal merch, but just merch you can obtain through the Matcharino website. Um, and uh, of course, any direct donation is uh, just very, very much appreciated. Anything you can do to help out the top three tonight. 100% of the prize pool does go to the players. MSM retains none of those. Underscore you, yeah, maybe sometimes. It's, well, because there are some restrictions on the ones you can do multiple times. And it's just, uh, I don't know, man. It's a big old toss-up. Because I try to do them multiple times, too, but I'm starting to get slowly, like, locked out of that option. <laughs> Underscore. Is it going to be another Ed Luke? I think it's going to be another Ed Luke. Oh, we're going straight for Cammy. Okay. Well, well, well. It's like Underscore's done messing around.
Alright, back from doing stuff on the side. Alright, so Underscore took that first round pretty cleanly. Not doing too great on life this time through, but we just had a couple V-trigger tags. Very nice, very nice. Solid break. Stand MK, still a pretty good button. Ah, ooh. Okay, you know what? That's fine. One hit out of 20, totally acceptable. All right, so underscore. Ooh, ready with the EXDP after getting yanked in. Very nice, very nice. And yeah, cannon strike on the... Just to catch uh, Shadow Ace unawares. Underscore going game one. All right, back again. Underscore taking some pretty severe damage here. Oh, does not nail his V-reversal. I'd say, yeah, both have about one confirm in him, but uh, Shadow Ace is going to get there first. Ooh, not a bad start. Underscore burned a couple meter bars, but it's fine. Still got one in reserve in case he needs it. Oh, and there it goes. He wants Shadow Ace to get stunned. Oh, and there it is, even if he had to trade to get it. Especially if he has to trade to get it, because now he's got free reign. Oh, and Shadow Ace. Not sure what happened there on the defense, but he just took those hits. I suppose there wasn't much benefit for him to keep fighting on. He already had full meter and odds of uh, beating that life lead were kind of insurmountable. Solid anti-air. Kind of impressed that was able to come out after the uh, after the V skill. Ooh. Shadow Ace almost putting himself into a cross-up position there. Now right, we got a forward throw. Underscore going to V-shift through. Nice. All right. Shadow Ace nails the air-to-air the air and is able to land the uh, critical arc punish upon landing. Should definitely put things in his favor now. If he had had a follow-up for that, he probably would have had this round. And we'd be on game three. Good throw. All right, Shadow Ace is going to have to guard up. He's going to have to break these throws because Underscore is not going to stop. There we go. That works too. All right. Shadow Ace does, in fact, tie it up. Sitting at 1-1, moving into game three in our first winner semi-match. Or, sorry, second. Jeez. 
I forgot all about the Cody Claw. Round one. I like underscore with these mix-ups. Good cross up there by Shadow Ace. Able to punish on wake up. Psycho Flicker keeps uh, underscore from jumping away too much. Nice. Cross up punish. Basically made Shadow Ace put himself into it. Nice V trigger. Going for the full reset. Yo, flip. Ah, <laughs> uh, of course. I think underscore actually likes punishing people with the uh, <laughs> the light spiral arrow. It's like, please, please do it. I need the rush, please. Oh, that's a huge crush counter. Oh, another one. Gets the stun. Can he kill from here? There's already quite a few hits in this combo. Nope. Oh, the insidious back throw. That will do it. Underscore with the 2-1 victory over Shadow Ace. Yeah, that looked pretty novel. It's go time. All right, that means Shadow Ace goes on to Loser's Quarter. Uh, up next, we're gonna do DB Gen and Regicide. Regicide, DB Gen. And this will be your first loser's top eight match. People need to quit texting me, texting me, texting me. Practice it before, during one of my casts like two months ago. Please forgot about it until tonight. Uh, it takes time to uh, to develop that good muscle memory, you know? Ave, yeah, man. You were just one game away from top eight. How about that? Hey, don't cry. Don't cry. That's progress. Bro, remember when I could beat you? That's not happening again. <laughs> Who's taking CB this year? Yo, 50 internet dollars on my man Hitman. Didn't see his name in pools. He may not even be there. I don't know. I, I've buried my head in the sand regarding combo breakers. Well, I can't. Well, yeah, I can't afford to go. So, and I can't afford to go because I wasn't, you know, Round one. Uh, tapped to do a job there this year. So, oh, big turn punch to start things off. I like Regicide's. Uh, I like Regicide's lack of style. They do not study these VODs. Damn. Damn! Alright. DB Gen may be starting to catch up. Nice. 
Got the crouch hard punch there. EP Gen still kind of on his last legs. Nice shinder you can punish. Oh. I feel like that short could have gone into Tatsu and DB Gen probably could have taken the round. EX uh, Fireball works pretty good though too. Yeah, you're right, underscore. Ed's, Ed's probably the best he's been yet. I mean, I don't think he's ever been, like, bad, bad, but he's definitely been buried at the middle of the pack for so long. Ooh, nice counter hit. Unfortunately, that DP big with... Okay, well, we know the uh, turn punch isn't safe. Good to know. <laughs> oh, that was the guard break. Oh, DB Gen able to take advantage of that. Into critical art. Oh, I just don't think this is going to do it. Called it. That being said. Regicide has, yeah, <laughs> Regicide needs a flawless run. All right, game one goes to DB Gen 13. Really on a roll with this Ken tonight. It is kind of funny how how loose he has gotten, like say versus Falk, who is, is still very, very Round stiff. Fight. She and Cody, are probably like the, just lacking the most articulation in the entire cast. All right, a little poke exchange. Regicide does not uh, compensate for the EX fireball. Ooh. Eats it on turn punch activation. Got chased down to the corner. B trigger activation, but ooh, DB Gen's not gonna let Regicide have his turn. Knocks him out during B trigger. Pretty brave, pretty brave. Oh, that EX Tatsu. Oh, should have been way more punished than that. Nice. DP right back. DB Gen taking this back to mid screen. Forward throw. Oh, solid check. I, pff, with the hard DP whiff punish. What a, what a suppressive tool that that thing can, like, counter hit from, like, three character spaces away. Yo, they tried that before. That's right, you got another one in the chamber. This is the first one to go off. Regicide might be in trouble here. Yep, that's death. All right, DB Gen 13, and that can move on in the bracket. Uh, he will be up against Dark Zero Omega when we get to Loser's Quarter. Before that, we are on to Sky 647 and Solidus, which I believe is a Gill Mirror. But yes, big thank you to Regicide for joining us this week. Happy to have you. Please come back anytime you like. All right. First time Sky's joining the bracket this evening. Sky and Solidus. Solidus.
<laughs> yeah, gill mirrors are cooler than claw mirrors. It's not? Oh, is it going to be a rose mirror? No. D don't play the rose versus the gill. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, Sky. I'm begging you. I'm pleading with you. <laughs> What's up, Dranzer? How's it going? Uh, let's see. Sky, sky, sky. Sky, were you even here last week? I'm looking at the wrong set. There we go. I <laughs> spy a fly sky. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in the way. Just trying to get ahead on literally everything else. All the channel points on sky. That's usually a safe bet in the gill mirror. I will I will give you that. However, however. That's nice, Dranzer. Thank you for joining us tonight. We're in uh, Loser's Top 8 here of the, the MSM Monday Night Tournament. So after this, we go to Loser's Quarter, and then we do Top 4. And go on from there. We got a nice little matcherino going. Feel like uh, don donating anything? Just hit the exclamation mark match, match arena command, and uh, that'll take you there for all kinds of cool stuff. Harmony. Harmony. That is the truth of what you must seek. Harmony. Yeah! <laughs> that is the truth of what you must seek. This one's going to be almost impossible to follow. Let's go! <laughs> All right, so Sky's in the silver cuffs. Solidus is in the gold, if that helps anybody. Sky a little bit on fire right now. Ooh, good parry. Solidus takes Sky off his feet. Keeping up that pressure so that Sky cannot recover from the burn. There we go. Up and over, using the knees to get safe. We got V-Trigger uh, Sky right now. He's got Solidus alight. Ooh, Solidus with a nice placement of the Meteor. Gets Sky off of him for a little bit. Now we got Retribution combos. Oh, they are they are just slugging it out. Nice defenses. Sky's got the life lead. Any of this could turn around. Nice! It is a little Dante Virgil. You're right, Ave. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> oh, Sky was just memeing and Solidus took it too far. <laughs> Twenty-six. You better enjoy this skill mirror. Yo, Sky with the solid anti-air, working on that stun. Crack, crack, crack the eggs into the bowl. <laughs> All right, game one. Man, twenty-six making fun of the gill mirror. Boo this man. There's hair everywhere. It's in every drain. Fifty miles away, there's just clogged pipes. Uh, Solid is off to a to a good start here. I would have definitely gotten mixed by all that. Kind of surprised Sky didn't press the advantage after that anti air. Bro, Gil would be such a good, uh, yeah, such a good spokesperson for Shampoo. Like, look at all the lift and hold this grants me. The volume. I have achieved harmony. 
Crack, 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 eggs into the bowl. Alright, solid is still burning. There it goes. Okay, we got V trigger activation. Forward throw himself. Oh, and Sky right there, ready to punish the whiff overhead with the crouch MP. Sky on match point. All right. Damn. Yo, Sky with the continuous LKs. Excuse me, what is even V Trigger? I don't appear to need it. The solid parry. And there it is. Woo! Sky with the 2 0 over Solidus did not even get one, one whole bar of V meter that, that last round. Holy cow. All right. Well, that is Sky moving on. Solidus, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Ah, means we're on to loser's quarter. First up, we have Dark Zero versus DB Gen 13. Loser's quarter. Push. Alright, DD Gen first since you're right there. Hey look everyone, it's Shade Prince and he's not playing with us. Boo! So we're gonna see Ken Claw again. Or sorry, so yeah, are we gonna see Ken versus Claw? We did actually, I think, see Ken Claw earlier, didn't we? Nope, I'm a liar. I was getting worried. I thought they'd already started playing. DB Gen. Oh, one second. I see. Okay. Oh. Man, I'm going to miss, like... I'm not going to be able to get merch or get that good popcorn... You know they're going to have that good popcorn. Thankfully, though, I didn't see any information about, like, high-ticket items at, um, at Combo Breaker this year, so I don't feel bad that I'm, like, missing out on a exclusive fight stick or something. Time for CB. Eh. You all go have your fun at CB. I'll just be here being chilling. There we go, Jesus. It's fine. Everyone can, uh,. Everyone can regale me with stories when they come back. Although, in all likelihood, we probably won't have Street Fighter next week because it'll be Memorial Day. Um, and I will be at the rents, you know, doing the cookout thing. <laughs> Sky, you already weren't going. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I do appreciate the solidarity, though. I, I do. I do. <laughs> All right. So the moment, the moment that uh, DB Gen's back, Dark Zero had to use the bathroom. <gasps> Bro, check it out. DB Gen's Ken is the same level as my Chun Li. We're level buddies. Yeah, to, next week might be a really calm week for us here at the channel because uh, Thursday is also typically our Grand Blue Fantasy Versus night. And uh, there is a. There's a, a friend who's usually in bracket who runs his own, like, kind of monthly. And I don't want to get in the way of his thing either. So might just let him have that Thursday evening. Which means it'll just be Guilty Gear. Maybe. It's PC this time, though, so a lot more people do show up for the PC version than, uh, than for PlayStation. Although, hopefully, that won't... Uh, matter too much that that's what I'm really hoping for um, if uh, if anything comes out of combo breaker I'm really hoping to just hear news about like just future things like I would I want to see the what they've got for DNF duel I want to hear about season two guilty gear and about like getting the the you know cross platform enabled and um, I don't know it'd be a great time to reveal more info about Street Fighter 6 because right now the hype level is like zero. It just be it would be a great time for them to tease anything they already have. Anyway. Time to fight. Round 1. Fight. Okay. I say Dark Zero ought to be pretty adept at handling Ken's at this point, but uh, DB Gen's proven to be a little unorthodox in his Ken methodology, so. Oh. I'm surprised I didn't get to punish. Huh. So yeah, I'm interested to see how this works out. Ooh. Okay. Dark Zero is still retaining the life lead. Good response with the walk forward. No chance of getting crossed up there. Ooh, nice. Solid counter hit. Dark Zero takes round one. Wow. DB Gen getting his jump in. Hard Tatsu there at the end. Not really able to convert to anything else off of that. No, uh, no gross Oki or anything. Wow, with the DP. Okay. Ah, DB Gen checking that dash. He said, I kind of had a feeling. London Bridge. Mm. These long distance punishes are really uh, making this a different kind of match. Ah, stand up, can hard DP. Very nice. That's a skill they got everybody familiar with back in Ultra Street Fighter 4, where uh, one of Sagat's most difficult. Uh, training things was the uh, like down forward LK into uh, into DP. All right, so the mask is gone on Dark Zero, so that means he gets a slight power up on offense. Unfortunately, his reach is uh, very much just just torn to shreds. And he's staying close quarters. He did not make the right adjustment versus. I think he went to try to counter throw. 
is what I think happened. Got that Oaken Punish. No jump in for Dark Zero. Ooh, and he made it super obvious, and DB Gen just let him off with a light warning on that DP. Blender Bridge. Ooh, nice kick to the head. No crush counter off of it, but that's fine. EX Tatsu with the wake up. Catches him with the Crouch MP. Does not convert into the Tatsu cleanly there. Nor can he jump clean. Oh, gets punished going for a command grab, and that's it. Game one goes to DB Gen 13, who has yet to switch to that Seth of his. Hmm. Round one. All right. I anticipate we'll see Dark Zero being a little more careful this round. Less, uh, less dangerous, more methodical. Ooh, not able to take care of that with DP. Gets the air throw, very nice. Could get a stun here if he's uh, diligent. There it is. Uh, takes DBG off his feet and London Bridge. Perfect KO to start off the new game. Nice DP there. Nope. Oh. Crush counter to the hard DP. Gets the chase down. Oh, Dark Zero is ready there. Starts low, rolls it out. We call that giving him Optimus Prime. Ooh. Claw damage, claw damage, claw damage. Yep. <laughs> Oh, nice wake up option there. That does stick around for a few Vega frames. There's nothing, nothing super meaty about Vega playing uh, Oki, but yeah, game two went by much faster than game one. I wonder if uh, Dark Zero's found the the adjustments he's needed to make. Of course, we could also see DB Gen swap to Seth to guarantee his uh, forward momentum. And no, we're not going to. Fight. Oh, solid grab to start things off. And DB Gen returns the favor, punishes the command grab attempt. Nice V shift. Air throw. Okay, Dark Zero not missing his chance to go on offense. This is very nice. Eats the EXDP on wake up though. Ooh, just that one little stutter step back. Dark Zero just needs a jab to connect. Ah, ops for sky high claw off the wall behind DB Gen. Round two. Oh, blocked. Blocked slide is bad news for a claw. Or anyone who slides, really. I want to say, like, Milia Rage might be the only one who gets away with it in, in Strive. Maybe. Oh, he has big damage. Up and over. Oh, good DP by DB Jenny. I mean, he almost can't miss in that confined space. Go, V trigger does not tag him on the fall. Not sure why Dark Zero went ahead and threw with that. Ooh, this critical art should do the job. I don't think the scaling's enough to save him. Ah, there it is. All right, DB Gen gets one as well. We're in final round of the set.
Oh, nice neutral punish. Takes it to the corner. Working on that stun. There it is. I think DB Gems got this one. There it is. Trade on the wake up, and it works out in DB Gems' favor, of course. Can win. 2-1 in favor of DB Gen 13 over Dark Zero. That was a hell of a match, though. <laughs> Bro, I like Dark Zero. I I I can hear you screaming this in your head. It's just like I dropped the combo. <laughs> All right. Uh, on to Shadow Ace versus Sky. This will be your final loser's quarter. Then we will start winner's finals off uh, for top four. Oh, they're both here. Nifty. So I feel like these two haven't fought in a while. Mostly because Shadow Ace keeps ducking. So Gil versus Ed, or Rose versus Ed. Who even knows? Eh? <laughs> well, now we know he's listening to the stream. <laughs> And it's an 11 match. Oh my god. Round <laughs> one. Fight. It was funny because I was just thinking about how we don't have any Kages around anymore because I think it was like either Mr. Mistopheles or... Uh... No, it was Cruel Onraj. That's right. Cruel Onraj had the... had the Kage. And I was like, bro, you know what I need to see more of? That alt costume where he's Ashura. Uh, they really put the most awesome costume on the character that gets played the least. Uh, Sky coming through with the round one victory. This is round two. Point. Oh, I hate this. I hate this, this like, filter or texture on, on the character models. I mean, aside from them looking like Rock'em Sock'em robots, it's just, I don't know. I just don't like it. I was going to say Shadow Ace finally got his feet underneath him, but then this happens. Yo! Sky's got the moves! La Barbara, lower the door another inch! Nice defense. Oh! Shadow Ace knocks Sky out of the uh, start of the roundhouse. Oh! 
Yo, we got axe kicks out here. Counter hit. Ah, nice DP. All right, that is Sky Over Shadow is in game one with uh, Kage versions of 11, or 11 versions of Kage, whichever way you... Whichever way you, you run that in your brain. <laughs> you're right, Abe, you're right. But to be fair, you were waving, you, you know, you were waving, uh, you were waving a sign with uh, unbelievable uh, things on it out, out, you know, out in the play, like at the the, the freeway. Let's do this. <laughs> you you can you can reroll. I just realized I sound like a crazy person explaining my own joke, but that's fine. What do we get? What do we get? What would we get? Blanca! Oh, God. Oh. Oh, that looked horrible. Shadow Ace looked horrible. And also the character. Ew, do not like. <laughs> Please send back. All right, so I think we're all fairly familiar with Block as, uh, power set here. We got Blanca Ball, we got Rainbow Ball, Amazon River Run is borderline busted. Oh, Stand Red House. Of course, yeah, uh, Stand MK, also really good button. Hits twice. Well, we got the uh, Hold Down yeah, hold down on all three punch buttons gives you the uh, the ability to do that big hop. Not to mention this block is I think the only one with command grab in the entire series. Solid forward pro. Ooh, yo, we got ground safe rolling. And that caused me to ground shave Lola. All right, Shadow Ace. Got it off. All right. Light Sky chasing this one to the corner. Try not to get intimidated there. Oh, wow. Sniping from the future. Round two. Ah, good punish. Blanca Ball, very punishable, especially at range. Alright, V triggers up. There's the detonation. Oh, good slide in, gets the throw, and that's gonna be round two for Shadow Ace. These two currently tied at 1 1. Oh my god, it is a milk dud. Oh my god, it's just a giant malted milk ball with no chocolate on it. Ew. Ew. <laughs> it's go time. 
It's all Grammy and crumbly. Gross! Ave, why'd you have to put that in my head? Two Kens, two Kens, two Kens, two Kens, two Kens. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Go, go, go. Dan! Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I love me some good Dan. Woohoo! Dan and Beaky, back after the ultimate improvement. <laughs> Bow down before my sight. Round one. Fight. Oh, they swap sides. Okay, so Sky got Sky got uh yeah, this guy got bison. Hmm. Now he has to now he has to dig up everything he's ever seen Hitman do. Dan seems like a character that Shadow Ace would just play normally anyway. That covered some good distance there, I gotta say. Is there. Nice throw escape. There's the knockdown. V-Trigger activation. We got uh, V-Trigger 2 on Bison today. So Psycho Noogies and uh, yeah, Psycho Crusher. And it's gone. Shadow Ace could pop his though, but won't. Takes the first round here. Round 2. There we go. That's the Hitman way. <laughs> Good pokes. Hey, that grab was inspired. Yo, Psycho X, start the party. Yeah, Shadow Ace checking the walk up. Very nice. Oh. Guy missed a uh, critical anti-air there. Yep. All that works. Oh, he should have gotten that whiff punish. That overhead's stupid. Yeah, this guy could pop V-Trigger any second, too. And he decides to trade on that uh, Crouch Fierce. Round of peace. Here it is. The end of the 11 Z's. Oh, okay, nice. EX Devil Reverse. We got throw at the corner. Shadow Ace puts himself in there. Interesting option. He's also got full CA. I wonder if we're going to see that. Well, I'm just tired of being right. That's a nice early lead for Shadow Ace. There's the trip. Psycho knew he's up. Oh, Sky didn't get to his plan fast enough. Shadow is to throw back into the corner. There we go. Ooh, nice anticipatory jump away. Uses the beat trigger. Yeah. Uses the noogies to keep things safe. Puts another one on him. Oh, another throw. Not up to kill, but one more. Ah, in the overhead. All right. Dan wins. 
That is Shadow Ace. 2 1 over Sky in the 11 mirror. And that means we have to say goodbye to Sky 647 this evening. And Shadow Ace moves on to Loser Semis. Tonight on the Street Fighter Podcast, Dan Hibiki, Street Fighter or Streetist Fighter? All right, so Winner's Finals is up next. This is going to be Underscore versus Hardman. Interesting. Hello. Hi, Jam. You're, you're muted and deafened. I did a weird one today. Like I, I just, I fell into this voice at work. I was doing like a little voiceover for um, putting together a, a liquid cooled PC, and I don't know what came out of me, but it was it was golden. I ran with it for like a full two minutes, but you'll never see it. Man, they're taking a second to connect, aren't they? <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> there we go. Cami versus Colleen. Underscore versus hard man. Let's do it. Okay, I'm here. Hi, go. Jam. Hi. Round oh one. my god! I was surprised y'all are still going. Oh, uh, we had like 20 folks tonight, so. It's 11.28. I got out of school. Alright. You joined the call. Don't blame me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, man. Ooh, nice whiff punish. It's the armbar. It's a hit with the lows into the V trigger. All the EX stuff. Mm -hmm. the hard man still the plenty of V trigger to <laughs> use. I call it the drill kick for that. You mean spiral arrow? Mm -hmm. Oh, caught her. <laughs> Did her own aircraft. <laughs> yeah. Hardman loves coming in low off those dashes. Well, oh. Better low than high, right? Uh, statistically, I suppose yes, but if you always do the thing that's statistically probable, then you become predictable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But everyone goes low. Is it sometimes you forget that everyone goes low? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, psych. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spinning axe coming through for underscore. He loves that B skill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's it's got a lot going for it, but he might have an unhealthy attachment to it. <laughs> 
But I had to know, what was that um, random select game going on earlier? So there's a character called Eleven in the game. Mm. Um, and when you pick them, you get a... Yeah, basically a, a weird goo version of the character on random. Oh, just Ron and Lou without... It, it's a fancy random select. Ron and Lou. Street Finder's Ron and Lou. Well, I guess, yeah. Just without... Yeah, Lana Lu doesn't have any echoey voice or like weird skin color. <laughs> nice, confirm into the super. Is that gonna be enough? Nope. Nope. Lana Lu is just a Harbin that can use all the other all the characters as puppets. Like mm. you beat this one, let me choose this one. Harbin could get this. He just has to be patient. Definitely. Oh, Patient? not oh. fall for any kind of throw shenanigans. That was going to be the next thing. Patient? I was supposed to say patient? What patience? Patient yet alert is the... Is the key. Is the key, yeah. You must achieve a state of relaxed alertness. How do you do that, master? Be ready while also not... Round one. Fight. <laughs> Spinning! <laughs> I just, I just love when she does that. Good anti-air. Oh, into combo, but did get hit, so he wouldn't get a perfect. Into the throw. Let's see what happens. So one of the bigger problems for Koi in this matchup the is the up. damage difference. Mm -hmm. She's got to do a lot more to get the same kind of results that when Cami does. Well, you have to remember. Oh. Oh, who's been around longer though? <laughs> Just the punch. <laughs> I, I was laughing how the screen froze on it. Like there was a little Bro. network hitch and it's just like watching it come in. Colleen's just like, no. <laughs> Went for the knee. Got the grab. Was it a grab? No, that was a parry. Yeah, that was a counter. Hmm. Oh, stand MK, EX hmm. cannon strike. Underscore has nice. to be like careful. It was a late exchange. Again. Hardman took a little bit of damage there, but was able to do full combo after that. The XDP for get off me. Ooh. Nice break. Yo, Hardman Not with punished. a good positioning. <gasps> the throw. Smart. Final round. Let's see what happens. Got hit. Nice break. Nice anti air. Mm -hmm. One for the. Oh. Cross under. For the switch. Oh, and now we're going to play corner pressure. Hardman's going to try his best to get away from here. Forward throw. You said what pressure? You literally didn't. You said. Oh. Punish. Going corner to corner now. Yep. Oh. Nice! That was actually really well timed. I don't know, not sure if Hardman planned for that, but. Oh, speaking of godlike oh. timing on the activation! Oh, look, I have CA. You're good now. <laughs> that timing was almost immaculate. Cammy wins. Alright, underscore with the 2 0 so far, but Hardman's not out of it yet. He could swing it back in his favor. Maybe. I forgot to bring up chat. Round one. Fight. Oh, dear God. What happened? It's a phone thing, don't worry about it. <laughs> All I heard was, oh dear God. I was like, what yeah. happened? <laughs> I don't want to go on TikTok. <laughs> Who does? Well, I watch TikTok. Yeah, you! Understood. You're the demo! <laughs> You're the demographic. Damn. That was a hell of a stun. Underscore <laughs> just keeps finding a way to do this better and better. Mm -hmm. Round 
Alright, set point for underscore. It's like, finally, I get it. I just don't want to get up higher in ranks. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look at him. I just realized what rank he was. Yeah. I think there's pretty much nothing else he can, he can achieve <laughs> at this point. Okay. There we go. Into the rage right here. Oh, extra distance on that roundhouse. Mm -hmm. Jump, trade, try to grab. Oh, here got we go. Finished. Nice V-shift. Oh, just to get out the corner. Drive. Yeah. Hardman can get himself... Uh, into a little mess here and there by throwing out too many whiff blows. It can work against him when Underscore just decides to spiral arrow him in retaliation. He's keeping spiral... Oh, wait, wait, no. <laughs> underscore is just trying to keep some distance. Oh, that was weird. No, like, it was weird, but it worked. Yeah, that's true. Underscore came up, did a nice combo, finished with the uh, Stand Fierce. And uh, that's all she wrote. 3-0 mm -hmm. victory for Underscore over Hardman. Uh, so Underscore gets to chill out in Grand Finals while we resolve the rest of Top 4. Mm -hmm. Which means mm -hmm. our next match is the Losers Semifinals of DB Gen versus Shadow Ace. Uh, did this already happen? It did! Way back in Round 3 of Winners, DB Gen lost to Shadow Ace uh, uh, two to one. Mm -hmm. So we've got ourselves a little run back. Hi, Shadow Ace. Ultra Hi, Mega Warlord. <laughs> Hi, Shadow Ace. Hi, Shadow Ace. Why are you looking so smexy tonight? <laughs> Uh -uh. No, 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 no. <laughs> I do not consent. <laughs> that that was girl pretty squad. girl squad twenty six, and thank you for thank you for confirming that that you were in my age bracket. Yeah, I mean, what you should know about Gem Lethal is she's pretty much, you know, like, she's pretty much that one from from uh, Teen Girl Squad. I have a crush on every boy. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm normally the one like, hmm, how do I destroy a boy's life today? <laughs> yeah, you guys don't know Marry about that. Marry him and then abandon him? <laughs> Pretty much always the no, answer. No. no, that's how you destroy a girl's life. I'm talking about. It works both worse ways. Than that. <laughs> it does, but like, there's a worse way. There's worse ways. <laughs> what? Matt, please. I said what I said. <laughs> he was over the age of thirty. Not me. Not me. Where's DB Jen? <laughs> Who are we waiting for? We are waiting for DB Jen. Hopefully, he yeah. is not in the bathroom. All on rank. There we go. Mm. So, oh God, it's of course, Demon intense. Jen's been playing your favorite character the entire night. Someone beat him so bad to get him off Tim, please. Aww. Aww, aww, aww. That's right, 26. Go, Ken. That's what There's I'm talking about. There's certain characters that I actually hate, and so far, none of them... Ken is one of them. But I've been hating Ken since 2000. 
something. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just say that you were hating Ken before it was cool? (laughs) Yes, actually. (laughs) How long can you hate Ken for? Gem lethal, dirty hipster confirmed. (laughs) Hipster? What's that? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thanks. I like this guy's name. Matt is okay. I'm shaking here. I get behind this. <laughs> Round one. Oh Point. look. It's a filthy can. Hadouken. I like the so pi- I like the pink and purple. No no, Shadow Ace knows me. He no, like he's going on my mm. Wow! Yeah, Shadow Ace is gonna have to get rid of the uh, the psycho tendrils. No. Because uh, yeah, DB Jen's gonna be re- as long as he has a bar meter, he'll be ready to EXDP. I'll make him pay for it. Oh, nice one! Keep him flying. Oh wait, wait, wait! Do it again. Do it again. Forward throw. Nice. Oh. Solid V reversal there. Yes, not. Oh, nice to You try to anticipate. Uh, <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> yes. I, I yes. guess the psycho flicker is like the new like rage-inducing move that <laughs> that's everyone all all in a tizzy. I'm okay with it right now. To be fair, I think it is like I think it's plus on block, like by a lot. Mm. Right now I'm okay with I'm okay with it. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. All right, that throw is exactly what uh, DB Gen needed. Kind of get that stun meter stop building up. <laughs> nice DP. Wow. Knocked him right out of the dash punch. DP again. Alright, forward throw, what's the wake up? Oh! Interesting. He got his confirm hit and then he just dashed away. Ah, and Shadow Ace neutral jumps himself to death. Final round. Oh, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, and then, but I think somebody else in that thread pointed out that, like that the hurt box has never been there or something. Like it's just a, a like it's just a really good high crush and always has been. Nice jab check to check him coming in. One two three. <clears throat> hey, that's what DB Jones. Man, he got that full crush counter and he let's let it nice go to waste. Him. No, no. Yep. Oh my god. Oh. No follow up there. I yep. don't know what's going on because everything's stuttering. Okay. Pop, pop. But going for, pop, for a fireball pop, fight. Pop, pop. You're a borrowed time. Yeah. Oh, I don't wow. think there's a character. I, I'm not sure if there is a character that can actually wow. throw out enough projectiles to dis, to disable all that. Yeah. I like the it transition to the critical art. Hey. Mm-hmm. Oof. Both better be. Oh, never mind. I was about to say both better be careful. Hey, psych. Yeah, possibly Oro. I was also gonna say um, maybe Guile and uh, V Trigger One could possibly do it. Mm. Yeah, that was that was a very weird round. Guile C A. Oh yeah, because it's um, uh, uh, hurricane, right? Mm, oh, I'm not sure. Oop. Bam. I'm fairly certain Gil could disperse it with Seraphic Wing, because that hits like, what, nine times or something? 
Oh. Probably. Good connection there. Oh, gets the crush counter. Unfortunately, it knocks down, so he doesn't get any extra uh, hit stun to deal with. Up and over. Oh, it looked like a cross up, but it kept him same side. Shadow Ace runs the cover. There's the fear reversal. No, he tried to run. He tried to run. He caught him going from side to side. Shadow Ace has the life lead. He just doesn't have any V-Trigger for his usual shenanigans. Ah! He didn't need his usual shenanigans. He said, what shenanigans? His animation on Crouch LK is just hilarious. It looks like he's b-boying super hard. No punish there. Into the kick, into the DP. At this point, I'd be surprised. Punishing the big stand, uh... Uh, fierce punch. Went straight into CA just so that oh. he could get all the. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, he held oh it too my long. god, he had an out and everything and he just kept going. Mm -hmm. That was a dropped combo. Shadow Ace uh, let, let himself back in. Shin Ryukin caught with a hard DP. Surprised no CA there. Oh, 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 I need to die. Not bad, DB Gen. Still Shadow Ace on set point. Because this is loser semi and it's first to two. Somebody sitting on CA, dude. Nice break. Got hit by Kaduken. Another one, then going to. Oh, nice. Ooh. Did not connect somehow. <laughs> That was a weird trade. This is all very just like looking more stumbling in the dark than I would expect from two grandmasters. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> TV Jens is like, stop that. Into the throw. Ooh. No. Oh. Wow. That was the perfect countermeasure to the Shin Ryuken. Now, DB Gen does have more of it left over. Whether he gets to use it or not in the rest of this round is up to fate. Oh, nice one. Mm -hmm. Oh, Shadow Flicker for the win. Ed wins. Or Psycho Flicker. What did I say? Whatever. The Flicker. Shadow Ace able to take that one 2-0 over DB Gen, and that means we have to say good night to the guy who should have been playing Seth all evening. <laughs> all right, Gritted. that means it's going to be Gritted. Hard Man versus Shadow Ace in Loser's Final. Let me just uh, change the... Uh... Nah, don't worry about it. Uh, let's see. Change the battle lounge settings back to first three. Oh, look at Hard Man ready and raring to go. That's not bad, underscore. I got one for you. What kind of what kind of cheese doesn't belong to you? Nacho cheese! Nacho cheese. Thank thank you, thank you, Jim. <laughs> Was, was it killing you inside? <laughs> yes. Go to bed. Go to All bed. right. Time to go. Uh. See, underscore, one of us went to the book fair when they were younger and bought the, the 50 horrible jokes to tell in the school playground book, and one of us didn't. <laughs> no, you don't know the joke of all the knock knock, all the best knock knock jokes in the world? I mean, I'm sure I've seen the book. <laughs>
I liked puns more than I liked the the knock knock jokes. No, there was one that was just pure annoying. Hey, future of Vegas! Thank you for the follow. Well, ain't you a this you does knock -knock? look. The, God, Ed sponsored by Chiquita. Let's <laughs> see. Oh, switched it up. Damn a Yoshi bag. Ah, I get it. Can we, like, switch? These aren't really, like, dad jokes. These are, like... <laughs> you wouldn't Can tell this switch? to your kid. The names. The names. The names are switched. I fixed it. Okay, I Oh, like the knock -knock joke? There was one that was just super long. Look at these Ronald McDonald yeah, shoes on Ed. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing mustard ketchup outfits. Yeah. With rubbish on the side. He's like PC cabling from the early 2000s. Ooh, that was actually oh, a really wow. nice choice. Yo, here comes Daigo. Oh my god, my big brother is here. <laughs> Alright, bye Daigo. <laughs> <laughs> Good punch. Punch over. Good punch again. Can you stop at the Kombini on your way home? Pick me up an onigiri and maybe like a bottle of water. <laughs> and life support. Need some life support. Oh. <laughs> As nice. Mind, oh, what is this? That They're this is this is rival schools. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look at that! Look at that! This is like, let's go higher. <laughs> what is this, rival schools? <laughs> this is 1,000% Project Justice. I missed the last Oh, one. shit! <laughs> Bro, I think rival schools... <laughs> I'm not going to say it was... Okay, it was the first fighting game I played on Dreamcast. And I liked it a lot, but nobody else in my college dorm would play with me. They all wanted to play mm -hmm. Power Stone. Or, uh, or Gauntlet Legends. Into a CA. To show that he can do it, too. Yep. Fortunately, no stun coming out of that. Oh, working yeah. on it. Working on it. Oh, well. I guess. Well, uh, that, that's done. Look, look. It wasn't me. Brother ain't it coming to the rescue stick. anytime soon. It wasn't me who said anything. It was Matchstick. What? No stun. Well, no. No stun comes off of CAs. No. Yeah. He's like, well, there was no stun. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, the, he the, gets the stun. I mean, it's it's a boring observation, but it is correct. Round one. <laughs> no, whatever. Yeah, Dad goes like, nah, you got this, sis. <laughs> you got this. I need a break. I can't be falling in like a meteor every five minutes for you. <laughs> oh, I saw Try to catch him flinching, because they're trying to catch each other flinching. But Shadow Ace is catching. This is one of the most like, close quarters combat sets I think we've seen the entire night. And that's even accounting for the fact that like Cammy really needs to be like fairly up on him. I don't know how I feel about that whole entire comment. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, if your sister was able to drive a motorcycle on a on a biplane. Uh, you'd probably think she's got things handled. It's like, oh, I don't have to look after this this one anymore. Time to look after the other. <laughs> Ooh, nice! Got the cartwheel off. Oh my god, got him. Knee to the face. Yeah! I don't know, man. I think in Street Fighter 6, I need to see uh, Daigo versus not Nadeshko. 
<laughs> he should be his own character? Yes, let's do it. If, well, I mean, he's been one before, so... In Street Fighter? Well, not in Street Fighter, but in another Capcom uh, fighting game property. Yeah, I'm talking about for Street Fighter. Well, if they already brought Akira over, why couldn't they bring Daigo in? Although, personally, I would rather see Batsu. Or Tiffany. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that laugh. I was like, or Tiffany. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, what was that? Come oh. on, man. Oh, yeah. She heals you by hugging you. Right. Anyway. <laughs> this match is pretty good. Oh, oh, man. Shadow Ace got tricky on that. I like it. Mm -hmm. That's borderline akin to the stuff you see DB Gen doing with Seth and uh, uh, V Trigger Two, where the ball go basically locks them into one particular like direction, and you can mm -hmm. free punish them from behind while they're stuck in one facing one way. Yep. yep. It's go time. It go time. I'm surprised he didn't play his <laughs> go to. All right, so over to Colleen, I'm guessing. Oh, he switched to his... He was like, okay, fun's over. Time to play. Be bad. Be good. Be good. My one and only. Frost bonk. Man, I got bonked on my own stream. What do I work for? Yes. Hollow Live. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I'm going to be doing on Saturday, y'all. Oh, it is a sugar glider. You're right. I have a friend who uh, from high school who it's actually a has glider. a couple sugar gliders. Jim, what are you doing real quick? Mm, nothing. No, I, commentating you, you're, with you. the question you asked. with The setup question you asked oh, the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It's goddamn Saturday. Christmas. <laughs> Christmas time! <laughs> they won't be Christmas no more. It's freaking Hanukkah now! <laughs> Halloween! It'd be Halloween! Meh. Trying to give Christmas in here. It's Halloween! <laughs> we're not Damn. allowed to create Christmas until after Halloween! Alright, we're, we're seeing go. a complete 180 here so far. Oh, it, there goes the perfect! It, 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 it. Whoa! Oh. I don't think I've... It's I've not seen that throw before. <laughs> oh, that's V-Skill 2. Huh. Wait for it. Well... I'll look. Shadow Ace seems to be oh, uh, pretty upset about how that last round went down. <laughs> yeah, because he, he said it's no longer Halloween in this house. You might as well just... It's mm -hmm. like, what? What was that? That was, uh, oh, that was Psycho Upper going through the V-Trigger. And that was Shadow Ace almost getting a perfect set point. Let's see. Let's see. It's called Halloween time. Bro, if this wait, was the wait, sequel wait, wait, to, wait. To, to Nightmare Before Christmas, I'd be down. No, we're supposed to get a Valentine's one pretty soon. Or so they kept saying. Mm. And what's funny is it's Christmas versus Halloween, but the Halloween girl has ice powers. Do we care? It's Halloween. It. Wait, wait, wait for it. I'm just saying, oh, no. if she's out here making right snowmen, who's the real spirit of Christmas? Uh, uh, uh. <gasps> I'll be right back. I'm kind of sad. I already know who won, but I'm kind of sad. I'll be right back. Rage Quitting. Are we Rage Quitting today? Oh my god. We Rage Quitting today. <laughs> We made it. Hard man, have me? a good night, buddy. 
¿Qué? <laughs> ¿Qué? Don't give a care about your road zone. I wanted to see the whole entire CA. Girl. To It's war zone time. Stop trying uh, to move quick. I just have a good time at Combo every- Breaker. <laughs> oh, hard man. Uh, have fun at Combo Breaker. I won't be there. <laughs> have fun for the both of us. Oh, uh, that's time. awesome. Oh, All right. so I'm cosplaying as a ram. Uh, as, as Ram Lethal? No, no, no. Yeah, as I play Ram Lethal. Sure, sure, sure. They say hi to me. I'm the guy with the massive head playing Colleen. Uh, brother, I would if I could. This is We're not, both the, not, not the weekend for there. me to get I'm away. I mean, even if I could, I certainly couldn't afford the time or the or the trip. <laughs> Sad to say. Maybe next year because I'll probably have a better job. Yeah, next year. Well, next year because <laughs> I'm going to make I'm gonna the channel's gonna succeed even more this year, and we're gonna do some mm-hmm. cool stuff. And uh, Rick and mm-hmm. everyone else at Combo Breaker, we busted my door down to be like, "Yo, uh, we heard Magic Melee has uh, cool players and viewers, and the guy in charge is also kind of nice. So, uh, yeah, who uh, yeah, you wanna you wanna do you wanna do Combo Breaker? I'm gonna be like, hell yeah." You want to do your commentators with you? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm like, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring cryptic. You gotta bring your husband. <laughs> I will bring you. cryptic. You think I need we anyone leave else? Behind. No, we can leave Prada behind. We can dance if we want to. We can leave our friends exactly. behind. Because if our friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, then they're no friends of mine. Mm-hmm. All right, Shadow Ace. Holding that L for now. Okay. I'll, Underscore yeah, with the I'll dub. Be right, I'll be right back, y'all. Go for it. Run. Pretty sure it's not catching on the on the mic, but I can hear my cat snoring through my headphones. It's pretty adorable. Oh shoot! I hope uh, I hope Hardman signed uh, like per- yeah joined the match arena. What? Oh, that's right. He does play Falk. What did I miss? Uh, you missed underscore getting 100% on this Kirby game. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So Grand Finals, uh, Matt, Grand Finals is uh, a three, yeah, best of five. So first to three, in other words. Um, If Underscore wins this first set, then that's it. He's the undisputed champion of the evening. But if Shadow Ace is able to take the first three out of five, then we have what is called a reset uh, set or match where they do yet another three out of five. And if Shadow Ace wins that one, then he's crowned grand champion. But if Underscore wins that one, he is also crowned grand. Well, he's crowned grand champion instead. Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where's my Hitman? Uh, Hitman was not here tonight. Are you kidding me? Oh, the Colleen, uh, Colleen <laughs> player's name was uh, Andala or Hardman. Take your pick. Yeah. All right. I said hit me, and I don't want Hardman. Yeah. Even though he's a good player. You know what? Falk might be a really great uh, like counter pick to loot. Now that I think about it. If you don't spend Ew. your time getting bounced off a wall. <laughs> Constantly. Round two. Point. I mean, 
mean, sandblast. She, she can probably low profile his uh, sandblaster. If she shoots Oop. from the ground. Well, uh, yeah. Why do anything but that? <laughs> because he's not doing that right now. <laughs> exactly. Oh, nice. Me to the fist. Thundercats home. Oh, wow. Batter, batter, swing. Ooh. Ooh. Underscore is familiar with the, uh, the little floaty overhead shot. Plenty of time to interrupt, says he. Yep. Sandblast! Mm -hmm. How much, how much sand do you need? There we go, finally. Nice crush counter. Yep, there we go, low profiling the sandblaster. Like I said, just shoot from the bottom. Don't stand the freak up. Uh, underscore must be very familiar with playing Falks because he is going for all the, the good interrupts. I oh, think got the that kill cam. Yes, they did. Have you ever seen a pole kill somebody before? Yes. <laughs> when a tornado is stabbed someone with it. <laughs> oh, it wasn't going with that, but it's hurricane season here in the south, so. See, and what, do what even are those? <laughs> Valley. Is what I say. I live in Hurricane Valley. Is what I say <laughs> like, as a person a who lives in Ohio. Is that what's just like a, a big tornado? Okay, think of a water sprout and sprout? a tornado combined. A spout. Water <laughs> spout. Right? A water spout. And a tornado has created a more dangerous version of, the, uh, of a baby of themselves and it goes category one two three four and five Cody dangerous category baby, five a dangerous tornado water sprout Whee! baby damn shadow ace that, this might have been I a really good pick for it. fighting luke mm -hmm. but a hurricane is just a tornado in a water spout if you ever seen a water spout on the beach you better be running to your car Nah. And water spout. If Twister, t if the movie Twister taught me anything, it's the most dangerous thing in a tornado is a cow. Nah. Yep. Yeah, no, it, it has to be a shark. So hurricanes start in the ocean, uh, right? I'm sorry, but Sharknado is a work of fiction. <laughs> it's not actually. Oh. <laughs> the thing is, I'm not lying. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think they got the idea from? Drugs? <laughs> they, saw, they saw a hurricane with a shark in it and they were like, hmm, this will be a good movie. <laughs> what was the what was the girl's name in that? What was the actress's name? I don't know and I don't care. She was I also she was it. also in um uh uh the Ryan Reynolds college movie, Van uh, Van Wilder. Tara yeah, Reed? Because... Yeah, Tara Reed. Yeah, that movie's a work of fiction because Tara Reed was competent. Mm. But you know how funny... No, like, you never heard stories about sharks swimming in the street before? During I mean, hurricane season? Tiny ones. Anyway. Underscore has graduated to G. Oh, look, he's che he has gone to Abraham's evil cousin. He's not evil yet, I don't think. He might be evil by the time he becomes Q, but... 26, we don't talk about street sharks. Street sharks are lame. Like, how do you know somebody never lived in the South before? Do you know what a gator is? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows what a gator is. Have you ever encountered one before? Oh, well, no, because I live in, like, a modern part of society. <laughs> you don't live where the Florida man lives. <laughs> Damn. 
<laughs> just straight up kills him. Shadow Ace is like, hmm, I don't give a care about. Yeah, Shadow Ace is doing a really nice job with Falk right now, but to be fair, Underscore has not broken out Cammy yet. So we're waiting for Cammy. Oh my god, just right into the CA. He's Mommy's like, I know you're gonna okay. hit a button. You know how we got Mummy's curses? Is G like actually evil in the story? He seems more like he's not clearly evil. He's like ambiguously evil. Oh, nice. I like the. Uh, Are we talking toes. about like Har like Harley Quinn type evil, where it's like? No, I, like he's not... he's menacing, but I don't think he does anything overtly evil. No, but, like Harley Quinn can do overtly evil stuff, and then do something like. Uh, incredibly good well that's nice. the, that's the thing g, g is he he's got a creepy aura about him but i don't think he's actually done anything yeah i don't think he's actually nice. done anything like a illegal or b technically morally wrong oh early on the anti air oh. Oh, nice. Good block by Shadow Ace. That'll definitely give him the round and game win. That puts him at the 2-0 uh, oh, spot versus back. underscore. Yeah. Working on that. Yeah. Wait, Falk wait, wait, wait. Become a, yeah, Falk's a good choice for him. Did ne you know who show up today? Uh, no. Round one. Okay. Fight. Chat, don't ask questions. Dude, Beast Wars was the shit, and so was Gargoyles. Gargoyles, yes! Wow. Yes, that, I'm, that sounds I'm like good. someone who has never seen the show. I have seen it, watched it every single show. And I rewatched it recently on Disney Plus. <laughs> and I will rewatch it again. I love everything Gargoyles, especially the crappy time when they were just time traveling back and forth. Oh, in the it, yeah, after the main series ended and they were just milking it. Yeah. Yeah, that part was awful. I just yeah, from how golf it was. It was terrible. No, no, mummy's alive. <laughs> and yes, rat trap is cool. And honestly, like I didn't even really mind beast machines too much upon a second viewing, but by God, that story ended with whole super weird. Caught him. Oh, there's the back Ooh, fist. Yeah, legitimately caught him. Legitimately caught him that time. Shadow has to be a little bit more careful. You'll note that uh, G has a has a Georgian accent. I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, they went back to Cybertron, and it was all goofed up. Yeah, Underscore's winning this one. Shadow Ace yes. isn't even trying to tease him down. Shadow Ace, just let it go. <laughs> just piss oh, him yeah, off. Oh, yeah, Reboot was awesome, too. Mega Megabyte and, and Hexadecimal were two of, like, the best villains ever. Like that episode where uh, Enzo had his birthday party and Megabyte crashed it to play electric guitar uh, versus Bob. What is what going on? <laughs> Was that a rage quit? I don't think so. Let's do this. All right. I think we got to uh, swap to Cammy for underscore. Mm -hmm. Wait, did they agree upon that? Huh? Did they agree upon that? Because underscore one, didn't he win that last round? Oh, maybe. Actually, I'm not sure what happened. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, the Enzo's birthday episode was pretty cool. A lot of Easter eggs in that one because it like the creators referenced a ton of like early CG stuff. Um. Yeah. I would have. I don't know what y'all talking about. So. And of course, Sonic Sonic Sat AM, which is getting its third season after thirty years. 
Mm. We're getting more bleach. Fans. We are getting more bleach. Yeah. But that's much later Which in the year. I... What is going on? We should be... Okay, video game wise, Bayonetta 3. And God of War. CFMFN. Another one. You won that one? Another okay, so it's 2-1. One. I thought, I thought uh, yeah, because otherwise it would be in a reset point. Going back to start. Yeah, it's, I think we all are. <laughs> going back to the start. Going back to the start. All right, let's just give it, give it 10 seconds to breathe. All right, CFN, come on. Inhale. All right, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. All right. Yeah. Does it feel good, huh? Yeah. Little bit in. Big out. Little in. Big out. <laughs> Matchstick. There were two seconds left. What am I going to panic and scramble? Let's do this. All right. Let's try it again. Fantastic so rollback, should... Street Fighter. <coughs> Capcom, I'm glad to see all of your Asherah's Wrath money is going to good use. <coughs> British. Oh, and Mike, can you bring me a water bottle? <coughs> it's kind of weird. Like, British people? Do American accents <laughs> like American people do British accents? I think American. I think British people do American accents the way that like most black comedians do white people accents. No, they do it like us. Like you know how um 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 um. You know yeah. how like high schoolers be like, hey hey, listen to my British oh, accent. Boy. No, that's like English is like, hey hey, listen to my American <laughs> accent. I'll use my credit card. <laughs> Do you have any non-dairy creamer? <laughs> yeah, Asher's Wrath was a victim of Capcom's skeezy practices. Um, oh. What happened? I don't know, they just stopped for a second. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a victim of Capcom's skeezy practices and also it was just a really weird it was like kind of out there and the, the 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 fighting part of the game that was not boss fighting was just unimpressive so but as a concept and like as a cinematic adventure it was just really really cool like if people had nothing but good things to say about um oh what was that there was that one game that had all that was all qtes made by that french guy nobody likes uh, it's French guy. The one who like stalked Emma, what, or Emma Thompson for the longest time. David Cage, yes, thank you. I don't know. Rain was Rain was in the title, but basically, yeah, like Asher's Wrath was just ahead of ahead of its time for that kind of thing. But yeah, basically, you know how like Beyond Two Souls plays. Heavy Rain. It was just called Heavy Rain, wasn't it? No, there's an, there's an actual... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asher's Ash Wrath was just basically action-adventure heavy rain. With some this mediocre fighting mechanics built in. You ever seen rain before, though? Also, it ran at like 30 FPS on the, on the then-current-gen systems, which was not a good nope. look. Nope. Nope. I'm good. We already have problem with the 60 that we got. Yeah, the boss fights were awesome, though. Oh. Light it up. Yeah, the boss fights were awesome, especially uh, the fat guy and uh, Osiris' former teacher. Not to mention the, the, uh, the hidden Akuma fight. And of course, when when Ashura gets together with his own version of Sasuke, and they have to fight the evil demon final boss together, 
and then turns out he's Sauce not even the, turns out he's not even the final boss. There's super secret evil boss who takes over your daughter's body. Oh hey look, Street Fighter made it into the game too. Because apparently there's an Akuma matchup for one of the Street Fighter games. I just don't remember which one. Kirk likes to talk about it all the time. But yeah, that's why I always feel bad that Kage got the Ashura costume because nobody likes that character, so no one's ever gonna see that costume. Good tap. Underscore ties it up. Two two. Let me just tap your sins right quick. By the way, I don't like this costume. <laughs> Why not? For multiple reasons. He looks comfortable as hell. He looks freaky as hell. He's got, hey, his, look, he's got his double I'm breasted well jacket. I am a well dressed his, serial killer. His, he's not a serial that is killer. Vibe I'm I am a well dressed serial killer with this outfit on. Well dressed. Like, did you not hear me? I don't like this outfit. Please ban that. I really um, take the George Washington Matt, um, looking. Uh, bro, I'm I'm 30 seconds away from doing it. Trust me, at all times. Just one more trash take away from getting banned. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. Oh wow, that was nice. All right. D trigger up. Gotta watch those toes. Oh, oh that hit a fireball to the anyway. wall. Right. <sighs> With another fireball. So, yeah, there's the caveat on Falk ducking everybody else's stuff is that that ball's too big to duck. So you're back to the original back to the original problem. Should you block it? Well, I mean, that's the thing. If you get counter hit while you're trying to do your, your ground snipe, then... Mm -hmm. Speaking of, underscore on set and tournament point. Nice. G in the, G in the club of characters who have anti-airs that don't look like anti-airs. Throw him up in there with Lancelot. For right. Oh, GBDS. yes. Yep, Thundercat's ho. We don't talk about. We don't talk about Lance. Whoa. Nice block. Yep. Just solid, shifting. solid defense there. Shadowy still has uh, V trigger going. Oh, underscore oh. ready with the interrupt. Now everyone's just got uh, meter. Oh, nice slide. Oh. The... That's a hell of a way to use it, though. Shadow Ace is gonna hey. roll into into the last round of Grand Finals with no meter. Final round. Look, he made a twist, and it works. <laughs> <laughs> They're playing hopscotch. Well, here's the rub. Underscore's building V meter every time he uses his bubble to stop those projectiles. So it's really not advantageous to, for Shadow Ace at all to ping him with those. Oh, he missed it. Nice top of the bar. Just trying to keep underscore out. He really wants that reset. No Shadow follow up. Catching up on life. Just throw the oh, corner. Nice we have the opportunity to, to be trigger now. Go for the pokes. There's the throw. Nice throw. Oh, oh there it goes. Back. No, we're not. No V trigger from that. I need to another throw. Okay, used it to keep Trying it safe. Nice. Strong. Wow. Oh wow, that got over that. Okay. Uh oh, I think this might Is be that it. Should be it. No, no oh, chase wait, down no. even. Ooh. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was sick. Damn! Like messed up. That traded. Oh my Wait. god! But it trades in underscores favor as he walks away the champion tonight with the three-two victory in grand finals. Woo! Well, just microphone. <laughs> I can't even finish that. It's go 
Damn, son. <laughs> that was an impressive finish. It was very much so. Uh, 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 uh. Man, I don't know why we ran long tonight. Oh, well, we all had good fun in the end. Because of Capcom Connection. Capcom presents the friends we made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I was talking about. A good one, good one. Thanks. <laughs> all right, let's go uh, check out the final results, shall we? All right, your champion tonight, mm -hmm. underscore 87 mm -hmm. FG. Oh, that's right, because you have to make a new uh, uh, challenge <laughs> account for some reason. Uh, coming in second place, Shadow Ace, uh, playing seven matches tonight. What a trooper. Hard Man going three and two um, for third place. Very nice. DB Gen pulling fourth place, four and two. Sky 647, fifth place. Uh, let's see. Dark Zero, also tied for fifth. We got Regicide pulling seventh and a tie with Solidus, one of our new faces this evening. Um, our friend from the Bahamas, Ota, going one and two, tying with Green Ranger and uh, NYC Max and Art the Ave, who almost made it to top eight tonight. Um, Let's see. Thirteenth place, we've got Regular Lee, Emperor Eevee, Master is Equius, and Subliminal. Oh, you always hate to see that when somebody ends up above. Like a no-show ends up above everybody else. Ah, it's rough, two, buddy. Gang. I went two. And then seventeenth. I don't Wait, know how like... Ezequias got in there with 0 and 2 in tied for 13 and beats out <laughs> yeah, uh, Talix. There's two, there's also there's a two no of them show. that went 0-2. Yeah. Oh, it's like 0-2 gang. But the 0 and 2 gang is full of like no shows. <laughs> so weird. Oh, tournament math. Like how? But yeah. But hey, big thanks like, to everybody who showed up. Uh 19 player brackets, nothing to sneeze at. So yeah, big, big thank. Uh back over here. Uh, underscore had a message for everybody. Don't forget this weekend, my homies from the Midwest will defend our honor in the Midwest versus West Coast 5v5 at CB. Send them your energy. <laughs> I'll defeat you with the power of friendship and this gun I found. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, if you said West Coast versus East Coast, I'd be like, I'm sorry. But you said Midwest versus no, West Coast. No, so not like, West. Okay. We're all Midwest Midwest childers up in here, except for Oda. I'm oh, and I guess you, that. Jim, but you don't play this game, so. I was like, I don't count. Yeah, you pretty do much. Not count. <laughs> it switches on Wednesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Cryptic's on my All side. All right, of the world. Matt. If you have to vote for, if you have to cheer for the West Coast because you're from there, I guess that's fine. Well, technically speaking, I, I was born on the West Coast, but I don't. Jim. Rep him. <laughs> I don't rep them. Jim, you I anger me, Jim. <laughs> Could have just been quiet. I was raised here in the. <laughs> No need to split hairs, Jim. <laughs> no, but I rep East Coast. It's easier. A lot easier to rep East Coast. <laughs> Make sure your dog goes to They're nicer here. Oh. Alright. Well, I need to go I hit the, the Oh dog. hey! I think uh, somebody just made a made our goal happen. Our Matcherino just hit Yay. fifty bucks. Or sorry, fifty. Thirty bucks. Oh, thank you, whoever now it was. To, yeah, to put the put the screws to him. Who did that? Who did that? Why that was three no. frame Jad coming through with nineteen dollars to to give our to put ourselves at the at the goal of thirty. So thank you, three frame Jad. Now that now the children will have clean socks for Christmas and maybe a boiled goose. 
But who has a dog here? Matchstick has a cat, and my okay. mom hates animals, so I don't have any pets. But, uh, yeah. I'm sad. Gotta... Yeah, okay, I should be able to pay everybody out after that. Um, folks, thank you so much for watching uh, MSM's uh, Street Fighter Monday night. Um, we will most likely be off next week due to Memorial Day. Um, just, you know, gotta do the barbecue thing. Uh, thank you to Jim Lethal for being here to offer commentary towards the back half of the event. Uh, thank you to all the players, Sorry. everybody who was in chat, everybody who watched tonight. Thank you to everybody who followed. Um, we had, what, uh, Vanglorious, Cod de la Cod, Future of Vegas. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you again to uh, everybody who went through the Macherino, did all the sponsor quests that they possibly could, um, and donated in every way available, especially 3 Frame Jad, who threw in the $19 direct donation. Big props. Um, and yeah, uh, just thank you guys for watching the channel. Remember, you can always head over to the Matchstick Melee YouTube channel after uh, a couple days of these events to catch the VOD in glorious, beautiful, cinematic quality 1080p60. Um, that's right, we don't just leave you hanging with the with the, the, the cheap Twitch VOD around here. We, we do it classy. Class it up by 10% easily. <laughs> and uh, if I don't catch any of you uh, before Combo Breaker... Have fun while you're there. Please be safe. Make good choices. I do encourage you to wear, like, your N95 mask uh, because you just don't know and cases have been on the rise and I don't want anything bad to happen to you folks. So, um, uh, yeah. Just come back safe, all right? That's all I ask. And... Please and thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's all I got. Uh, we'll be back Wednesday for Guilty Gear, and then maybe a minor Nothing. Grand Blue Fantasy versus on Thursday. Basically, a no. a, a kids left at home uh, tournament. <laughs> no, I got stuff to do. Fair I got enough. school. Got MomoCon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're not having Grand Blue at Mobile Con, so I'm playing Strive instead. Pua, 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 pua. Lol, so I'm gonna just join her. <laughs> oh, oh my god, no. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's already in the time at corner. Yeah, I'm telling pretty much, Cryptic. Pretty much. <laughs> All right, guys. That's gonna be it for us tonight. Thank you so much. If you do head over to the YouTube channel, don't forget to uh, drop a like on a video and leave a comment. Uh, on you know, talking about a cool part, and uh, yeah, don't forget everything over there will be time stamped so you can always find the, the matches you're looking for nice and easy. Until next time, everybody, you have a great night, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace, bye.